All right, I'm really excited about this topic. Hope you are too. This will show you how to use ChatGPT to be your buddy in coding. Now, it can do a lot of the coding for you, but you still need to understand what's going on. And the more you understand what's going on, the more it's gonna be useful. You can also see it as a research tool. You're diving into AR and you need a little bit help cracking the code on this new library. That's where ChatGPT can help you as you iterate through ideas with assets and code. Now, you can also just see it when you're getting started as a way to help refresh your memory or to learn a new thing here and there. And I'm going to use basic HTML centering an image as an example. But you could take this example and you can extrapolate from it to do a lot more advanced things. And the key is you need to know some things in order to understand what's going on. And the better the questions you ask, the more accurate your results will be. Okay, I have this image and I'm gonna have an index file. I wanna display this image on this index file. Let me delete this .css file. Once the image is on the page and then the image is centered horizontally and vertically, add an external style sheet. This is the start of where ChatGPT can start helping you out. Apply this template of what we're about to do to more advanced things, which I'll cover in another video. Let me jump to Sublime. Let's say I have a blank Sublime document. It's my index.html file, nothing's in it. We want to embed this comic image on the page and then center it horizontally and vertically. Why not do it all at once? Because it's a learning process. And just like anything else, you want to start to stack things together to create more. Go to chat GPT and let's just ask it to code this for us. Let's ask it for the block of code that we're looking for. So code and eight an HTML page that displays comic.jpg on it. Let's start with the simple scenario and then build from here. Here it goes coding the page, you even add the title to it, comic image. You could change that title when you get it back into your own HTML. It's telling you the explanation. This will create an HTML page that displays the image of comic.jpg. Comic .jpg. The image element uses source. So you're learning a little bit. Depending upon when you ask it, it'll remind you to put the image next to the index page as well. So you don't always get the same answer or the same advice afterwards. Code-wise, let's just try it out. So copy, jumping to here, paste, save it, opening this up in the browser, and there is the image in our browser. The next step is to get this image centered. And I'm showing you that this conversation is ongoing. It's not a new chat. Since this conversation is already up here, how to code an HTML page display to that displays comic.jpg, how to center the image horizont horizontally and vertically on the page. And now we're asking it to expand upon this code. And there could be different ways you can horizontally and vertically center it. Let's see what it comes up with this time. See, there are, there are a few ways to center an image horizontally and vertically. Which answer will it give you? ChatGPT and the image generators, they all work on randomness. It's like rolling dice. The more concise your question is, the closer the answer you want to achieve will be there. So if I want a Flexbox as a solution, I should have asked for it. But here, I didn't ask for it, and since it knew that there's several solutions, it is giving me the Flexbox solution. We'll try them both out in a moment. So this is a lot more than copying and pasting. You should read the answers. You should look at the code. That's how you use ChatGPT to be your coding buddy. Learn more about what's going on. In this case, it's using the image tag, and I don't think I'm going to like this solution. Let's take a look at it. The reason I don't like this solution is because it's all image tags on the page. We'd get this, and it's not doing it horizontally and vertically. And this shows you, you can't just trust your answer that you get back from ChatGPT. You have to um, go through them. And let me try this answer, which is one of the real answers here. It looks like ChatGPT fell down on the, on the vertical alignment. We'll save that. And that one worked out fine. Now, for its newer answer, the Flexbox one looks correct. So let me copy and paste its Flexbox solution right here. Copy. And I'll just paste. I could paste the whole thing. 
really the style is what's different in between the two answers. Save. And this should give a very similar result. So horizontally and vertically, you see the image is in the center. So thank you, ChatGPT, for being my coding buddy. I'm just showing you how to get started using it on a very simple level and then building it up to more cooler things like AR, coding in Unity, React, and other places you want to go explore on your own. Now, the last thing I want to do for this, since this is about learning, well, this gave an answer, but what if the requirement was to have an external style sheet? You don't know about the link tag or you forgot about the link tag. You need a little reminder about that. Let me cut that and delete the style tag from here. I'm going to make a new file. And I could ask ChatGPT to do all this for me. I'm going to make the body have its own style in a moment. Let me save this. And the reason I'm not asking ChatGPT to do this, well, if you know things, you know, it's a little quicker just to do them on your own and let ChatGPT help you out when you, you know, need a little reminder, a little nudge, a little refresher about things. Dot CSS. There we go. Everything is highlighted in color. So let me make the background of the page. Background color will be just black. And now you want to attach the style to this web page. Now it's a link tag, but if you need a refresher, you could just say use an external style sheet to attach the style to this web page. Create a new file called style.css. I called mine comic style.css. You paste your style within that file, and then in the main document, you'll be using the link tag, and that goes within the head section. And sometimes it'll explain it to you right up here. And if it didn't, you just have to kind of do a little research. But within the example, right there, it shows you that it goes within the head slash head. It also explained it right up here within the head section. Since I called mine comic, all I'm gonna do is copy and paste that. Rename it Comic Style. Refresh. And there it is. We have the black background, or if I wanted blue, I could just take, type in blue, refresh it here. And it's an external style sheet, which is a lot more efficient and what you should be doing when you're building out bigger projects. Next video is going to do a more advanced example using A Frame to create some AR for your mobile phone in the similar way that this HTML was done using ChatGPT. Hope you had fun and tune into the next video.